for this position here, we're gonna give him the chance to get under hook. Okay, because if he just stay here, like will be hard, he'll be protecting his neck, using his hands to protect his neck. So I have no space. Okay, so I need to give him the chance to get under hook so I have the chance to get a choke. Okay. So the first thing that I need to do is putting my knee right here over his thigh. Okay? So I move my knee from the mat over his thigh. Okay? So I can push his leg down. Okay? Now my hand, I'm gonna post right here on his hips. Okay? So I can uh, slow him down, like when he gets the other hook, start getting the other hook, I can push him and keep him on the mat. Okay, if I don't post my hand here, he can be fast, boom, and get another hook. Here it's too late, I can't get a choke here. He can sleep or take my back. So I need to use my hand here to control him. Go, boom, and slow him down. Okay, and another thing that I do from here, I open my knee. Okay, so I go as far away from him. So I have more time to set up the choke. If I get closer, it's easier for him to sit up. Okay, and and get a, the other hook. So if I go far away, I stay here, like, look my knee. I move my knee, go here, I go here. So now he needs to get closer to get the other hook. I have more time to set up the choke. Okay, so go. I pose my hand. I can't let him get here, okay? So when I see the guys trying to sit up and get the other hook, boom. I slow him down, and I'm gonna use my hand here to grab his chin. His chin right here. Okay, so I, I cup his chin. My hand is not my my arm, my forearm, the blade. Okay, so I do, you don't need to go deep and use the blade. Okay, you just need to use this part here. Okay, right here. You cup his chin. That's it. That's the grip that you need. Okay, so come back again. Sit up. I hug his head. Okay. As I get this grip, I cannot wait too much, okay? Right away, I need to pass my hand right here under his armpit and connect my hands, okay? So I was grabbing like this. Now, my other hand goes here and I grab, okay? You can't grab like this or your other, or the other hand first and then this one. You keep the same grip, just use the other hand to make a stronger grip and help you to put pressure in the neck. Okay? So from here, my other hand goes here and grab here my hand. Not my wrist, okay, but my hand. Now, I'm gonna roll, okay, putting my shoulder on the mat. So from here, I just need to roll, okay, and put my shoulder on the mat. Okay? I don't wanna, I don't wanna throw here, I don't wanna throw here, Put my hips on the mat. Okay, you can come up and sweep. I wanna get this grip and now put my shoulder on the mat with my hips. Even if he keeps the half guard, keep the half guard. My hips up. Now I'm gonna use my leg to kick his leg. Okay, sometimes when we are fighting, doing the fight, it's sweating a lot. So when you roll, you can boom, free your leg right away. You can go from here, you go boom, and free your leg. Well, let's say the guy's holding your leg and you can't like free your leg right away. That's not a problem. Okay, you have the grips. You just put your shoulder on the mat, hips up. Now use your other leg here, okay, to kick his leg. So you kick the leg, boom, and you get this position. Okay. Now, the most important is, I can't let him open his elbow. If he start opening his elbow here, he's gonna break my grip and then lose the, the anaconda choke. Okay, so from here, first, I close my elbow, okay? I close my elbows, to so don't let him open his elbow, and then I'm gonna use my leg, okay, right here. I use my leg to trap his arm and push his arm down. So again, start to open your arm, your arm, yeah. I go here, I close my elbow, and then I lift my hips, and I use my leg right here, okay? Right here on his triceps, and I push his arm down. So I go here, 
okay? Now, I can't just get every triangle. It's not, it's not easy like that. You need to adjust the grip first, okay? So you adjust the grip, pulling your arm, so you go here. You adjust. Now, don't go like this. You give him the chance to grab your hand, okay? Yeah, so you just slide your hands, you go like this. From here, you go here, and now you slide your hand. Okay, now you have the arm triangle, but if you start squeezing, squeezing, you get tired and the guy will not tap because it's not tight enough. So you have to keep walking towards the hips. Okay, so from here, I keep walking. Okay, sometimes the guy will try to put him in the half guard. No problem, that's good for me. I track his leg across my feet and now I start squeezing. Okay, so don't get there and try to stay there squeezing your arms. You have to walk to the towards the hips. Because when you start walking, you use your chest to push his head. It's just like the triangle, when you pull the hand, it's the same thing, but you are using your chest. Your stone in your body to push his head. Okay, one more time. Okay, so you start here. My knee is only on the mat. I start position here, but I put my knee over his thigh. Okay, now I give him space. I go far away and I post my hand on his on his hips. Pay attention. How I close my elbow. If I stay here, of course it's gonna get the the arm drag or break my grip. So I go here and I close my elbow. I'm waiting for him. Okay, when he starts to sit up and get under hook, boom. I cup my hand and I grab his chin. Okay, now I don't need to keep my hand here on his on his on his hips. So I'm gonna pass my hand under his armpit, connect my hands. I just grab here. Okay, this grip. So now my my shoulder goes to the mat, hips up. Okay. If you can roll and free your leg. It's better, easier and faster. So you go here. You can do like this. But let's say the guy's holding your leg, then you just put your shoulder on the mat, hips up, okay? Now use your leg to kick his leg. From here, kick his leg until I get this position. Now he's gonna try to use his elbow because he, he, wants, he wants his face to breathe. Okay, so go. Start to use his elbow. I close my elbows first, then I use my leg. Okay? If I try to go right away, I can't reach his elbow. Okay? So I close his elbows for my elbows first. Okay? And then I use my leg. So my leg is, is gonna be right here on his triceps. Okay? So now try to uh, open your elbow. He can't. I track his arm. Now I have time, I have time to adjust the grip. That's why I need my leg here. I trap his arm and I start to adjust the grip here. Okay? So from here, I, I trap his arm and now I start to adjust the grip. I start pulling my arm. Okay, so I don't give him any space. If I stay here, I give him space. When I adjust, now the position is tight. But I can't go here. He can grab my arm. Okay? So I just, from here, look. I close my elbow and I move my hands like this. From here, look. And then slide. I get the arm triangle. Now I can't stop. So I can keep my leg here, making sure he's not gonna open his elbow. And now I have to walk towards the hips. Okay? So I keep walking. I squeeze, I can finish here. If the guy's putting me in the half guard, no problem. I cross my feet and I keep squeezing. Okay, but always moving towards the hips. Because the guy will be trying to like spin, hip escape to escape from the position. You need to keep walk, keep walk. Okay? You guys have any questions? No? We're gonna do one, one more time faster. Okay, from here. Ok, 
Okay? Is there any issue if, uh, so you're saying he wants to try and open his elbow, if he keeps it out really wide so it's hard to get the leg around, is that a big deal or no? You have this position here, you mean? Yeah. If he, so if he goes like this? Yeah. No, no problem. I start to close my elbow, okay, and then using my leg. Of course, you can't go here, so you need to go like, you circle your leg and start going here. Okay? So you have to, to catch his arm here. Oh. And bring him back to this position. Adjust, squeeze, oh. Okay? Let's go. One, two.